What if Canada's Air Force is undergoing its most significant transformation in decades? Imagine the strategic implications as they pivot to a brand new fighter jet, the Gripen. We're diving deep into the monumental training preparations that are officially ushering in a new era for Canadian aerial defense, starting October 2025. Forget everything you thought you knew about Canada's aerial defense. A silent revolution is underway, preparing for a fighter jet that could redefine their capabilities. Get ready to uncover the untold story behind the massive grip and training operation, a shift so significant it will shape the future of Canadian air power for decades to come. Welcome back, Viper Jet Wings. For nearly four decades, Canada's CF-18 Hornet fleet has guarded its skies, from NATO missions in Europe to patrols over the frozen Arctic. But time has caught up. These aircraft, once symbols of strength, now stand at the edge of their service life. Aging systems, limited avionics, and increasing maintenance costs turning every sortie into a challenge of endurance rather than power. Behind closed doors, military planners have known this for years. Canada's air defense needs a reset. Not a patch, not an upgrade, a leap forward. And that leap now carries a new name, Gripen. While much of the world chased the glamour of the F-35, Canada took a harder look, not at hype, but at practical strength. The Gripen EF offered what the F-35 could not, independence. Lower operational costs, faster turnaround times, and the ability to fly and fight from short, icy runways deep in the Arctic. Where stealth sometimes fails, adaptability wins. For Canada, it wasn't just about buying a jet, it was about buying flexibility. Gripen's modular systems allow Canadian engineers to maintain and upgrade the fleet domestically, avoiding the long-term dependency that often comes with U.S. platforms. And the implications? Immediate. This procurement reshapes Canada's role inside NATO, positioning it not as a junior partner, but as a nation that brings its own solutions to the table. It signals to allies and adversaries that Canada is no longer just following the flight path set by others. This isn't just modernization, it's a strategic leap, one that could redefine how Canada commands its skies in a world growing colder, faster, and more unpredictable by the day. When Canada chose the Gripen, it didn't just buy a fighter jet, it signed up for a complete transformation of its Air Force. Because a jet is only as strong as the people behind it. And for the Royal Canadian Air Force, that meant retraining an entire generation of aviators and technicians for a new kind of warbird. Inside Canada's air bases, the shift is already underway. Old CF-18 simulators are being replaced with next-generation Gripen EF training modules fully immersive systems that replicate every vibration, radar signal, and g-force the pilots will face in combat. This isn't just simulation, it's total immersion, blending virtual reality with live mission data, allowing pilots to train as if they were already flying over the Arctic or the Baltics. But mastering the Gripen can't be done alone. That's why Canada is reaching out forming deep training partnerships with Sweden, Brazil, and the Czech Republic, nations that already fly and maintain the Gripen with combat-ready precision. Canadian pilots are joining international exchange programs, learning not only the aircraft systems, but its philosophy, adaptability, efficiency, and speed over sheer complexity. Back home, a quiet revolution is taking place. Brand new training centers are being constructed, from Cold Lake to Bagotville, equipped with advanced simulators, data hubs, and maintenance bays tailored for Gripen's modular architecture. Infrastructure that once belonged to the past is being reshaped for the future, creating a foundation where every sortie, every test flight becomes a lesson in progress. It's a transition measured not just in flight hours, but in mindset from manual systems to AI-assisted decision-making, 
from analog dials to digital dominance. For Canada's next generation of pilots, this isn't just training. It's preparing for takeoff into a new era where technology, precision, and human skill fuse into one unstoppable force. High above the frozen expanse of the Arctic, where temperatures drop below minus 40 degrees Celsius and the magnetic compass begins to lose its sense of direction, one truth remains. Whoever controls the North controls tomorrow. And this is where Gripen's true edge begins to show. Unlike most modern fighters built for warm weather runways or carrier decks, the Gripen EF was born from the cold. Its design is Scandinavian at the core, rugged, flexible, and made to operate where others struggle to even start their engines. At the heart of the aircraft lies its ASA radar and infrared search and track system, a deadly combination that allows the Gripen to hunt even the most stealthy aircraft without revealing its own position. Its electronic warfare suite acts like a digital shield, detecting, deceiving, and neutralizing threats long before a missile can lock on. Every sensor, every signal, feeds into a unified data fusion system, giving pilots a 360-degree picture of the battle space, not just faster, but smarter. And while some fighters need long runways and costly support, the Gripen thrives where infrastructure is minimal. Its short takeoff and landing capability lets it operate from icy highways, remote airstrips, even temporary bases carved out of the tundra. Maintenance crews can refuel and rearm it in under 10 minutes, turning a frozen outpost into a frontline launch pad. For Canada's Arctic defense, this changes everything. Gripen isn't just a jet patrolling the skies, it's a mobile fortress, extending Canada's reach into the most remote corners of its sovereignty. It strengthens NORAD integration, giving joint forces faster communication, real-time data sharing, and greater resilience against electronic attacks. In a region where Russia's long-range bombers test the limits and climate change opens new strategic routes, Canada's new fleet offers not just protection, but presence. Because power isn't about who flies the fastest, it's about who can stay and operate when the world around them freezes. The Gripen gives Canada exactly that, a fighter born for the North, ready to defend the skies where others fear to fly. The Gripen deal isn't just about new wings in the sky, it's about building strength on the ground. For Canada, this acquisition injects fresh energy into its aerospace industry, creating high-tech jobs, local partnerships, and advanced research opportunities across provinces. Every grip and assembled, every part maintained, fuels Canadian innovation, not foreign dependence. Through technology transfer agreements with Saab, Canadian engineers gain direct access to Gripen systems, radar software, avionics integration, and electronic warfare development. That knowledge doesn't fade after delivery. It stays, grows, and evolves within Canada's own defense ecosystem. The sustainment strategy is equally smart a long-term maintenance and upgrade plan designed to keep the Gripen fleet combat-ready for decades. Spare parts, digital updates, and AI-assisted diagnostics ensure the jet stays ahead of evolving threats, not behind them. And perhaps most importantly, this investment future-proofs the Royal Canadian Air Force itself, preparing it for a new era of networked, data-driven, autonomous warfare. Gripen isn't just a purchase. It's a blueprint for sovereignty, innovation, and resilience. One that keeps Canada's skies secure and its industry strong for the battles yet to come. A new horizon is forming over Canada's skies, one defined not by legacy, but by vision. The Gripen acquisition isn't just a defense deal. It's a strategic declaration that Canada intends to lead, not follow, in the future of global air power. With the Gripen EF, the Royal Canadian Air Force gains more than speed or stealth. 
it gains readiness, interoperability, and freedom of action. From Arctic patrols to NATO missions, Canada now brings a fighter designed to adapt, connect, and respond at a moment's notice. This is more than modernization, it's reimagination, a future where data, agility, and precision define power. Where Canadian pilots don't just defend their airspace, they shape the skies of tomorrow. Because the future of Canadian air power isn't coming, it's already here, and it's flying under the name Gripen. The sky is changing, and so is the power that guards it. Canada's future isn't written in reports, it's written in the contrails of the Gripen. This is more than a jet. It's a statement that innovation, independence, and strength still define the true north. If you believe air power shapes the future, join the mission. Subscribe to Viper Jet Wings, where every story flies beyond the horizon. Because here, the sky is just the beginning.